here we go again. Let's draw from the backyard. So today I went out and um, found a different kind of grass that I didn't know the name of, and it's one that I see uh, a lot of, like everywhere. And then I went on to the Wenatchee Naturalist website and found out some information and recorded that in my journal. So if you look to my sketchbook there, you can see that all my notes in bright different colors. It helps um, me uh, kind of get it to stick to my brain when I write it and then draw it. And uh, yeah, super fun. So join me in the video and then get out in your backyard and make a drawing. Okay, today's plant is the blue bunch wheatgrass, and this is a, a bunch grass, meaning that it kind of bunches up down here. So right above the soil level, there's there's a bunch or a mass here, and then the, the plant goes up this way. It is October, so this plant um, most likely flowered in June. And then what I read and found out was that uh, after it flowers up here, it just kind of dies back here. And what that does is allow all the nutrients to stay here on the crown and also underground. And so, um, there's another little photo of it. These rocks aren't natural to this area. The rocks were uh, brought in to make a fire road, but um, it is a nice protection for that plant right there. So they don't get that tall, maybe three or four feet, but what I did find out in my little sketch here is say this is maybe three feet and then down below the, the the root mass is absolutely a big tangled mess of roots it can grow four to six feet underneath so that root system uh, feeds the, the crown here even though the, the top portion may look like it's, it's not surviving but this is how this plant survives with this massive root ball down below and I found it interesting too that this plant will take up you know six feet going wide as well and the next plant uh, the the root balls don't mix so the next one may be over here and, and so on so they do spread out so here's my here's my stock um, won't be that challenging for me to draw so I'm gonna go ahead and draw uh, from my photograph as well as as this stock right right here so let's start with this it's got little pointy things here that are pretty evenly spaced and then each of these is on the outside it's kind of fun when you can lay it down you can even trace I don't think I need to trace this one but you could trace it if you wanted what is on top there okay I could put it let's go ahead and do that make it even a little more simplified if I just put it next to it here so I, my goal was to go around my yard and find the native plants and just learn about them try to learn their names just the act of writing down the information um, drawing little pictures into my sketchbook helps my memory so next time I, I go out and uh, on a hike, then I can hopefully tell the grasses apart. Oops. Didn't spend too much. I always like to use more than one color out of the pencil box or paint box. It doesn't seem that any plant is the color that comes right out of your set of pencils or paints, whatever you have. Okay, there we go. So this is the Blue Bunch wheatgrass. Interesting, nice, strong stalk. Bends in the wind.